Hi there, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert again, and we've just recently found another free RTAS plugin. So rather than just post a little bit of news, I thought I would give you a look at what it looks like. So here we have it. It's the double MS tool from Sherps with a little bit of help from Illisonic. And what it does is takes the MS, the mid side microphone concept one stage further. So with normal MS, we have a forward facing cardioid mic, and then at 90 degrees, we have a figure of eight mic. And when you do the mass, you get effectively a stereo pair, just like that. So what we have with the double MS, or sometimes called MSM, is we add in a rear facing cardioid. So we have a forward facing cardioid, we have our figure of eight, and we have a rear facing cardioid. And when you do that, if you share the figure of eight between the forward and the rear facing uh, cardioid mics, then you can get a 5.1 surround. So you can see here that the orange polar pattern represents the center speaker, the yellow one, the left front, the red one, the right front, the green one, the right rear, and the blue one, the left rear. And from within this plugin, we can actually start to control things. So we can focus it. So we can make the microphones a little less focused. So more soft cardioid or more focus. So we're starting towards tending towards a hypercardioid. We can change the angle of the microphone. So we can bring the front set round more central, which obviously has a corresponding effect on the rear or we can split those so that we can change the angle of the rear separately. So we can change those as we would like. We can also affect a little bit of delay into the surround channel, which helps to focus the surround because we normally would expect the sound coming from the rear to be a little bit later. And then we can also select the different outputs so if we don't want to use the center speaker, we just want to route the output of this MSM or double MS mic configuration just to the left, right, and the left surround and right surround, then we can do. And we can also mute or change the gain of each of the outputs. So what does it sound like? Well, I have here a recording that I made with a double MS mic arrangement. Uh, when I did a surround album, instead of using a straight stereo pair as my reference mic, I used a double MS mic array as my reference mic. So what we have here is one of the raw takes from the session. And if I just play it here, of course, you won't hear it in surround, I'm afraid. Uh, what you'll be listening to is a down mix uh, of the surround. But you can see we have the surround arrangement here. So you'll probably recognize it as the main theme from the mission. And so we can see as I mute each of them. So now we've just got the center channel. You can see in the surround uh, metering on Pro Tools, we just have the center. And then as I bring in the left and right and in the surround, there we go. And another nice little feature that I found is that using the mouse scroll wheel, I can rotate the whole array right the way around and it doesn't stop here you keep going if you use the slider you hadn't hit the end brick wall but if you hover over it and use the scroll wheel it just keeps going around but of course again listening to the down mix you don't hear that surround spin but trust me when you listen to it on surround it does do exactly what it says on the tin and we've also got some metering here uh, so we can see the different levels of the different microphones, the forward facing cardioid, the figure of eight and the rear facing cardioid, and the levels of the five point, what the five point naught, because obviously this only creates a five point naught output, not a five point one. So there's nothing going to the LFE channel quite correctly, because the LFE channel is just for effects. So there we have a very, very simple uh, plug-in which works really well. The only thing that took a little bit of getting used to is the routing So if we just take a look at the mixer here 
Uh, in fact, what I've had to do is to route the front mic goes to the um, left hand input of the 5.1 channel. The side mic goes into the right hand input of this channel and the side mic goes to the center channel. So it's a little bit odd routing uh, and I had to decipher the German uh, manual to get to the routing because this beta version of the plugin which has all these additional features didn't seem to come with a manual in the installation file. Uh, but once I'd realized how the routing was done, then it's all landed in my lap and we get this wonderful surround sound from the configuration of microphones that I've got that I've been using on my surround recordings. So forward facing, in this case, an MKH-40 Sennheiser. My MKH-30 is the figure of eight, uh, and because I don't have a second MKH-40, I in fact use an MKH-406 as my rear facing cardioid mic. And there we are. A nice little plug-in, brilliant that it's free. It is apparently, it is apparently tweaked to the Sherps uh, microphones, but as you can hear, it works remarkably well with uh, other microphone sources. So there we have it, a free plugin from the guys at Sherps and Illisonic. If you are into uh, surround recordings, then go download it for free and enjoy it just as I am. And I'll see you next time.